Ladies and gentlemen, it is finally time to do a reaction to the second Sonic the Hedgehog movie trailer. It is finally out, guys. We have all been waiting, and it is finally here. But on top of doing a reaction video, in the same video, I'm going to be analyzing the trailer. I'm going to be analyzing for anything I see. Obviously, during this reaction, I'm going to point out, you know, what I notice and stuff. But I'm actually going to go into more detail with this reaction video, and I'm going to analyze certain stuff. So, guys, I'm Silver the Hedgehog, and it is finally time to react to this trailer. I hope you guys are ready. I am ready. I'm sure most of you have already seen it at this point, which is okay, but it's finally time for me to react to it. I hope you guys are excited. Let's not waste any time. Make sure to stay to the end of this video because, again, I'm going to be analyzing the trailer as well. But enough chatter for me. Let's finally react to this in three, two, one, go. Here we go. All right. This looks like Seattle. Oh yeah, a chili dog already. Sonic, I love that you want to help me. Is that gun headquarters? Is that gun? Oh, that's not good. Oh my gosh. That this is amazing. I mean, yeah, I guess Sonic is a kid. Uh-oh. Eggman is back. Whoa! What was that? Wait a second, did you steal that from Oprah? Um, I, I don't know, D did he? Oh my gosh, it's Eggman. He's back, but Sonic's going to defeat him again. Jim Carrey looks great. Since I've been gone, I've discovered the source of ultimate power. Oh my, the Chaos Emeralds! The Chaos Emeralds! Guys, the Chaos Emeralds! Oh my gosh! Yes! Tails! Let's go, Tails! The tornado! And they've got Colleen back voicing as Tails! Oh my gosh. Guys, this is amazing! Yeah, Sonic, that's why you should have a seatbelt. Oh, and there he goes. Oh my gosh. Oh, that looks a little scary. This is so cool. Actually, wait a minute. Maybe that wasn't the, the Chaos Emerald. Maybe that was the Master Emerald. I don't know. It was one of them. Yeah, you show him, Sonic. <gasps> Knuckles! Knuckles! Yeah, Knuckles! I need your power. Oh, no. It is going to be a showdown between Sonic and Knuckles in this as well. Sonic, meet Knuckles. Wait, Knuckles is on Eggman's side. Oh no, Eggman has tricked Knuckles! Oh my gosh. Guys, that was amazing. Don't go anywhere, guys, because I'm about to analyze this trailer right now. So please stick with me for the next few minutes so I can analyze this trailer, give my thoughts. And by the end of this video, you guys can give me your thoughts of what you guys think. So that's going to start with this frame right here. So we have police cars probably looking for Sonic. I'm going to assume that they are looking for Sonic. I think it might be gun. I have no idea because we have this picture right here where Sonic is in the truck and it looks like they're gun soldiers. I don't know if that's what they actually are, but that's what it looks like. So I think that means gun is going to be in this movie, which is really cool because I mean gun headquarters being introduced so early on. I don't know if it was actually introduced this early on in the Sonic series, at least Sonic the Hedgehog 2. But it's really awesome. We have what seems to be a father-son bonding with Tom and Sonic. And, you know, Tom is supporting Sonic all the way for his actions, you know, wanting to protect the world and wanting to protect the city. But he's also worried about him because Sonic is still a kid. You know, Sonic is only 15, you know. Actually, I think he's only 14, at least the movie version. So, you know, he is concerned about him. And there's just kind of this, you know, this really kind of powerful moment with the two characters. And, you know, I I'd love to see what their relationship turns into because... You know, I definitely think Sonic has found, you know, a great friend and you know, could, you know, he could be like a fatherly figure. So it's a really great and powerful moment and I can't wait to see that in the movie. We have right here what seems to be one of Eggman's robots and I don't know if this is actually what causes him to come back because we still don't actually know how Eggman gets back. But he does find a way and he did follow through. He is back, guys. And it seems like Eggman is causing a lot more destruction than usual. Not just to Sonic, but to the world in general, to the city. And it looks like Eggman is just going to cause a just a catastrophic, you know, tornado, what it looks like here. 
Now taking a closer look at Eggman, obviously this right here is what Eggman looks like. As you can see, Jim Carrey, you know, playing Eggman right here. He is bald, he's got the big mustache. He isn't fat, but he is still pulling off the Eggman very well. You know, it definitely looks just like our Eggman. Because obviously, you know, we had Eggman from the first Sonic movie who was kind of in the early stage and, you know, wasn't at this point. But now we get to fully see Eggman as he's kind of become crazy because, I mean, he was alone for however long and he may still be very smart, but he's still a little bit crazy. So I really, I'm really looking forward to seeing Jim Carrey pull off Eggman in the second Sonic movie. Honestly, I thought he did really great in the first Sonic movie. So I'm excited to see how he is in the second Sonic movie. Right here, guys, we have what appears to be either the Chaos Emerald or the Master Emerald. They are implementing one of those or both of those into this movie, which was pretty obvious considering that Knuckles is in this film. But it is just amazing to see that they are including either the Master Emerald or Chaos Emerald. Again, I don't know which one it is. Um, but that is just going to be a huge source of power for Eggman, which is probably why he's able to cause so much destruction. And it's going to see it's going to be really great because we might potentially get Super Sonic in the second film, which would be really great. I don't actually know at what point Super Sonic was introduced into the game series, but it seems that it may be introduced into the second Sonic movie, which I would love to see happen. We have the fox, the myth, the legend, Miles Prower, aka Tails. And we have Colleen once again reprising her role as Tails, which is amazing. Honestly, I did not know that Colleen was going to voice Tails again. I thought that they'd potentially get someone else. But it is really great. I'm not complaining that she gets to voice Tails again. It's really great that she gets to take Tails on another adventure in the second Sonic movie. It's great how they essentially reanimated the ending credit scene from the uh, from the second or from the first Sonic movie. That's really great. Obviously, here we have the tornado, and it seems that this is when Sonic and Tails meet. So maybe Sonic's falling out of the sky, and maybe uh, Tails saves him. I don't know, but it seems like their introduction is very brief right here as they fly into battle. It's going to be really interesting to see how Movie Sonic and Movie Tails relationship kind of just bonds in this movie. It's going to be great seeing them work together with the tornado. How Tails got the tornado here, I have no idea. Maybe he built it on Earth. I have no idea, but it's going to be amazing to see both of them working together. Sonic alongside with his partner, Tails. Now guys, this is actually hard to see, but if you look very closely, that appears to be Angel Island. It looks like the Master Emerald is glowing on the island and that can only mean that it's Angel Island. It's really hard to see it and it looks like that's kind of, it kind of looks like something like Mystic Ruins, but it looks like Angel Island is a lot, I don't know if it's like bigger or smaller, but it's honestly really interesting. It was honestly really hard to see and I didn't comment on it during the trailer, but looking at this now and kind of studying it and looking into more detail, as you can see, it's Angel Island, which I mean, obviously confirms Knuckles is gonna be guarding the Master Emerald potentially. We have what appears to be Sonic snowboarding down a snowy mountain, which in my opinion, I was getting Sonic Adventure vibes with this. It is a great Sonic Adventure vibes, because if you guys remember, in Sonic Adventure, you get to um, you get to go down a snowy mountain and you get to snowboard. So honestly, I don't know if that was the intention, if that was the reference, but that is the reference I got from this. Honestly, that is what I felt, and I thought that was really amazing to see him, you know, kind of snowboarding down away from the robots. That's a great way to make an escape. So there's not too much to comment here, but honestly, I thought that was a great Sonic Adventure reference, if it was intended. And here we have Knuckles. Knuckles, first off, looks amazing in movie form, and it is amazing to see that they are gonna have that rivalry, because if you guys remember, the Echidna tribe did kill Longclaw, which was Sonic's, you know, adopted mother. And I don't know if Sonic's going to blame... Well, it appears that Sonic is definitely going to get into a fight with Knuckles, and is going to potentially blame him for that. And Knuckles does not care about Sonic's power. It does not matter that Sonic has a bunch of power. It seems that even Knuckles is able to stop him. But there was a line that Eggman delivered saying, Sonic, meet Knuckles. Which makes me think that at first glance, Knuckles is going to be on Eggman's side. I have no idea what's going to happen with Knuckles, but I am really excited. Knuckles had a great appearance. I thought it was really great that they didn't actually show off Knuckles too much, and they just showed this little teaser of him. It's a, honestly a really powerful scene. 
Overall, guys, this was an amazing trailer to watch, and I honestly really enjoyed it. I thought it was great. I have never been this excited during a reaction video, and I am so excited, guys, because it might have been a long and painful wait for this trailer, but the movie comes out in four months, guys. It comes out April 8th. It comes out in four months. Now, it might seem like a long time, but guys, it's going to be worth it. I am super excited to see what this movie is going to turn into. Now, since Gun Headquarters is in it, that gives me a theory that Shadow the Hedgehog might appear as an end credits. I don't think he's going to be in this movie, but if Gun Headquarters is in this movie, then there is a great chance that Shadow the Hedgehog could appear at the end credits. That's my theory, guys. Let me know in the comments down below what theories you have for this movie. I have no idea what it's going to be, but clearly Sonic and Tails and potentially Knuckles are going to work together to stop Eggman. But obviously, it's going to be a lot more intense than last time, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this reaction video, and I also hope you guys enjoyed me analyzing this video because that is not something I do often. If you guys enjoyed this, then make sure to do me a favor and show me some support. To hit that like button to show me that you enjoyed it. And make sure to click the notification bell to get notified when I upload a new video. Make sure you check out some of my other videos right here. And guys, I am excited to see what the second Sonic the Hedgehog movie has in store for us. See you later, my futuristic crew. Thanks for watching.